Stand by for action. All right, boys and girls, how's it going then? Well, what's happening today then? Well, if you stop being so impatient, I'm going to tell you. Right, I'm here, South Wales Valleys. Abergavenny, Clan Foist. Abergavenny, gateway to South Wales, apparently. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the channel. Good morning. It's Saturday the 20th of May, and I'm here in South Wales, uh, parked up at Clan Foist, just outside Abergavenny, gateway to South Wales. And I've plotted a route on my beloved memory map. If, if you ain't got it, get it. <laughs> um, yeah, something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, ride around the Blorinch and the south of Abergavenny. Um, but more than that, I wanted to visit uh, Blenavon, the World Heritage, the World Heritage Centre of Blenavon, because uh, of the part it played in the Industrial Revolution. And one in particular place, one place in particular, sorry, which I want to go and stand on, and that is the site of the, the lost viaduct of Blaenavon. Um, it's not lost anymore. It was until the uh, time team found it, but I will tell you more about that when we get there. I'm just really excited about standing on, on the site of it. Right then, so back on the rise after the uh, adventure on the FOD. Battery's good. And a quick view is where we are. So there's Abergavenny. That is Skirid there, the hill there. So Abergavenny, a park to Bethlan Foist, which is just outside, cycled up, billy 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 bong. There you got Sugarloaf, uh, Pen Alt Mauer on the Black Mountains over there, Warnvauer over there, uh, Table Mountain just there, Pen Alt Mauer, you got Crick Howl. Uh, this is heading the valleys up there, that's heading over to uh, A465, Bertha Tidville, Swans with Neath, and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning weather beautiful absolutely gorgeous so yeah i'm really looking forward to this uh it's a historical ride certainly no dramas it's just to go to the uh say the world heritage site at blenavon because it's it just fascinates me what south wales did during the industrial revolution it's amazing so without it with enough of this history gushing all right boys let's get cracking then and don't forget the girls tidy all right, so this is us leaving the car park in Van Foist. Free, really nice. And we're going to be heading up to the canal. Is it the uh, Breckenshire and Monmouth's, Monmouthshire and Brecon Canal? Which is up there. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. This is bloody steep. Get up there, my son. So this is the uh, Monmouth and Brecon Canal. Get up there. Bridge 95A. Wow, this is bloody nice. <laughs> and we're heading on down there. There's Abergavenny down there. A skirid in the distance. Fun voiced. On the towpath now, and I'm uh, I'm using the rise like one of those old-fashioned bikes. Normal leg power, no battery assist. Excellent. Right, this is bridge 96, and we got to cross it. That's the towpath. Goes on the other side. Oops, crunch. There we go. Right, so we come off at this bridge number 97. Chuck a left, a tiny bit of road work, and then up a uh, bridleway, we start going up Gavile and Wharf. Good morning, thank you. Oop. Push up there. Right, follow this for a short distance, and then uh, we pick up a bridleway going straight up. Stunning weather. All right, boys, big pit. Light vehicles only. Right, I think it's just around this corner. Right, so there should be a bridleway up here, but there's nothing for me to get to. Absolutely bugger all. Should be here. But as you can see, just because it's marked on the map, it doesn't mean to say he's going to be there on the ground. Right, there's nothing for it. I'm just going to have to keep going on up the road a bit until I pick up where I should have come out. 
So yeah, it just goes to show when you're plotting a, a route on memory map, just because something's showing on the map a bridal way doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be there on the ground in real life. But that's all part of the fun. In a bit. Right, we're at the top of this slog from Gavilan. And this is the footpath. I don't want to keep off footpath, but hey ho, I'll minimise it. Here we go. Oh dear me. We're going up, up there. Right, this is going to be hopefully the first and only lift of the day. And it's an uphill lift as well, which isn't the easiest. All right, so thankful for small mercies. I got the semi skimmed as opposed to the full fat. All right, here we go. Engage muscles. Yes! Get over there, my son. Ouch. Good job you have a helmet. Smack your bloody head. Right, up there. Correction, second lift of the day. Is there going to be any more? Right, so we're looking for an old tram road, which is just up there. When we get to it, we're going to turn right. Oh, it's I can see some people on it up there walking. That's what I'm after. Correction. Third lift of the day. Here we go. Off you go, my son. What's that caught on there? Oh, that's Right, this is this is really steep now. We're just heading up to the tram road. It's just it's just a little way up there, but yeah, this is really steep and it's very slippy because you've got all the uh, the dead fern and there's just no traction and it's rocky and steep. So I'm quite happy to uh, engage walk mode for this. All right, I'll see you at the top. All right, this is us up the old tram road now. Right then, Pete, so we've just come from down over there. We had to use the road because the bridle way I wanted uh, was blocked. So we've come up this, pretty bloody steep that, so that was pushing. And now we're on the tramway. So this is an old tramway which serviced, it used to go from, uh, used to go from Blenavon over to the Llanfoist Wharf. And I think it was built to service the Garn Fithris smelting plant, which is somewhere over there. You can't see it anymore, but uh, we should see evidence of all the, uh, the slag heaps from all the smelting processes. And then when, uh, when the railway came, so this was just a tramway for horses and carts and stuff with, on rails. And then when the railway came, that was more efficient, so the smelting plant closed down. So we're going to follow this round now, heading off to Plainhaven. Bloody love history, me. So that's heading, the tramway heading off down to uh, Lanfoist, Lanfoist Quay on the canal. Have a beginning over there. Lovely viewage. All right, here we go. What's this? Oh, I can see the old, uh, the old uh, sleepers for the uh, the tram rails. So that's cool. All right, so we're heading on up there. Hopefully, it's not going to be too steep. Let's go and uh, have a look at it. All right, so that says Keepers Pond. That's what we're heading for. Keepers Pond. Heading up. Rocky and narrow, but rideable. Correction. I think I did say that this was a tramway. This is not, this is a path, footpath. The tramway is down there. Lanfoist, Glenavon. And I'm stopping to look at the view again because it's fucking gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. It's really nice to think, oh yeah, I faffed around over there. Sugarloaf, that's a good ride. Really, really nice. Right, enough of this yakking. Let's get up there cracking. Trying to keep it in the blue mode as much as possible. Improve fitness and battery range. Signpost there saying uh, forging history. This is what we want, forging history. Love it. Up and over there somewhere. Right, we've just come up that track and I don't mind admitting that was a bit bloody, a bit of a pain in the ass. Very rocky, very tricky to ride, 
in the end I just pushed out all the rocky stuff because you just couldn't get your flow and that was more knackering. Anyway, so that's down at Gavail and then Tramfoist. Hurrah, a nice piece of track. Still heading for Keeper's Pool or Keeper's Pond. Extreme rock traverse, you. Yep. <laughs> awesome i'd like to think i can find a uh, one of these slag heap piles from the smelting process they look really really cool so uh, yeah i'd like to find that or oh, some of that there's a lot of it around here so fingers crossed okay here we are keepers pool keepers pond and uh, i think we go straight over looks like we've got a plate with some or a notice board with some history stuff, which we'll go and have a look. Extreme Bridge Traverse! Awesome! Yep! Right then, let's go and have a look at this. Yeah, it's just telling us about the uh, the wildlife and how valuable it is. It's triple SI. It's bloody lovely, that's why. So I'm guessing this was something to do with the, uh, the smelting process. Get water to the furnaces and what have you and all that malarkey. Right check the map but I think we are heading over there all right leaving keepers pool now we're just going to head straight up and then pick up a uh, trackway which will take us over that way heading for Blenavon and the heritage site oh exciting popular place people swimming <laughs> Yeah. All right, boys, we're going up here. Tidy. <laughs> right, so we're going up here now. We'll have to keep an eye on the map because these are not marked footways. These are just tracks. I just have to make sure I take the right turning. Otherwise, I can go everywhere. Pretty strong wind on the top, but it's lovely and cool. You can see all the uh, all the evidence of the uh, industrial activity. Right, need to keep a keep an eye out. We'll be turning off somewhere up here. Like I say, it's not marked trails; it's just tracks. But they are marked on the map. Right, I need to go that way now. So, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think we're going to go that one. Loads of old ironstone, just seen a nice lump of slag there. So here we are in this lunar landscape. It's just full of ironstone. This obviously was where they quarried iron ore. You've got all the, uh, the waste piles there, over there. And Blenavon, just over there. Right, we're going to head over and pick up a track and go down. Not far now from the viaduct, <laughs> which I'm very excited about. Now we should pick up a marked track going uh, left to right. We want to be going left. So uh, hopefully there'll be a bit of signage. I think I can see it down there, Andy boy. Yeah, there it is. Find the big fecking hole. For some reason, I've got a whale melch wait a a male Welsh, a Welsh male voice choir going off in my head. Right, where do we go? We go down there then. This is steep. Fucking yes. And the trackway is your yeah, boy <laughs> up there. I'm not gonna get muddy.
again change of plan it's this way not the other way we're kind of off piece at the moment going rogue Right, we're still off piece going rogue and there's a steam train over there. So there's no marked tracks here, this is just make your own way. And I uh, obviously missed the track up in the slag heaps and the spoil heaps. So I'm just heading, trying to make to my uh, original route, which is somewhere down here. There's a steam train, I can see it. I don't know if you guys can, but it's over there, you can see the smoke, a little red one. Right, we're good. The train is over there. We've just come from over there. And we're going to follow this down. We'll pick up my original route and then we'll go to the uh, location of the, the lost viaduct. Yeah, boy. Extreme river crossing. I think we've got to go over the stile there. Heading to a metalled road. I think it's a tiny, tiny section. Then we're off into the area where the uh, the lost Blenavon viaduct is. Oh, ooh, pardon me. Rock chicane. Put there to piss bikers off. Right, so I need to get over there. That's where the lost viaduct is. So I'll just check my map and just see if I can get in there. I think I can actually. Let's have a look. Right, so I need a footpath, which is down your boy. Right, the footpath is just by the red box there. Very excited. I'd like to think there's going to be uh, some information. Ouch. Ouch, bloody hell. Right, this, this is it. This is it. Right, let me just check the map. This is it. All right then, boys and girls, here we go then. The main event. <laughs> yeah, main event. This is what I've come out on this ride for, to visit the site of the lost Blenavon Viaduct. Now, believe it or not, this is a valley, but you wouldn't think so looking at it. But this is, this is actually a valley. Now, in the 1790s, about, well, about 1790, the Industrial Revolution came to South Wales and it all kicked off massively. Industry, iron working, smelting, casting and all that good stuff. So in order to feed the, uh, the iron works, which are just over there, the UNESCO World Heritage Site, they had to get all the, uh, the iron stone and the coal, which we all we just ridden across. They had to get it across this valley, which isn't a valley anymore, to the iron workings. Now, so, in 1790 they built, I can't remember the guy who built it, but they built, this guy built, the world's first railway viaduct. Now, you've got to bear in mind that the first steam train, or the first locomotive, wasn't 
invented until 1812. So when we say railway viaducts, we're talking horse and cart on railway tracks. And 25 years after it was built, it completely disappeared. No, no trace of it being de demolished or anything like that. But what actually happened, because the, the Industrial Revolution was happening so fast, things changed. And this valley, <laughs> which we are stood in and on, they just filled it up with waste. You know, like all the spoil heaps, they just filled it up. And over time, they covered the viaduct. In 25 years, the viaduct was just uh, over, yeah, overcome with waste and covered over. And I'm gonna put a picture of the viaduct up now, what it looks like. So this is what it looked like. So as you can see, it's a, a 10 arch structure, which spanned this valley and I am actually on it now. So the line of it would have come from over there, down through the bike and down there. And when you look at on the when you look on the picture, you can see that people they've like bricked up the arches and people were living in there. And I think in 2000, 2000, I think it was 2000, Time Team were asked to come down and look for it. And it was on the final hours of the final third day that they found it. They dug a massive hole somewhere around here, and they just found the top of the structure. Put a little camera in and confirmed that the uh, that what they'd found was the lost viaduct of Glenavon. And I thought one day I've got to go and stand on the site where that is. And I'm actually stood on it now. So below my feet is the Blenavon Viaduct, the first railway viaduct in the world, 1790. So Robert Trefethick, 1802, built the first uh, steam locomotive. And then in 1812, Matthew Murray built the, uh, the Sal I think it's the Salamander, Salamander. And that was the first commercial locomotive and then in 1825 Stevenson and locomotion number one and then it all all took off then but yeah 1790 the first railway viaduct right enough of this gushing I'm really excited I'm just going to save the moment and then we're off down to the ironworks down there right we're leaving the site now and it's just incredible to think that underneath the ground here running along and over there there is a 10 arch a 10 arched viaduct the first railway viaduct in the world 1790 and it's underneath there and it's such a shame they can't excavate it and have it on show but i guess it's such a, a big job and it's going to cost too much but it's there it's underneath and i'm so happy that i found the, the location and stood on it right onward well, i think this is heading off into the ironworks now let's just go and have a look at it yeah, there it is to my right. Let's go and have a look. Wowzers. So this is Blenavon Ironworks. And this is what the viaduct was built for to supply with iron, stone and coal. World Heritage Site. And coming round, you've got some like old cottages, whatever they were about. But yeah, this is it. The iron workings of Blenavon, World Heritage Site. And the viaduct was built to feed this. Right, leaving the ironworks now. Just heading through Blenavon. We're gonna be heading on up there somewhere. Right, so that's us looking back down onto the uh, the iron workings, UNESCO World Heritage Site of Blenavon there. You can just, maybe you might just make out the structure there. But it's amazing to think that that was a valley and it's just full of uh, industrial waste from the smelting process. And underneath there, the world's first railway viaduct, 10 arches, and it was covered over. Uh, yeah, it's incredible. And it's still there now. Right, and there's Blenavon. There's a lightweight scooter. We're gonna head on up and then over there. All right then boys, up we go. Okay, onward. So this is a bridleway. 
pull it up and then we're going to go around. Right, so we come up here, iron workings, we've come from it over there, viaduct. Ooh. Right, and just over there, you can see that's uh, what they call Big Pit. It's not called Big Pit because uh, of the depth, it's called Big Pit because of, I think it's the, um, the workings that lift the guys up and down, the, uh, the wheel that turns to lift all the stuff, the uh, cage up and down, that's why it's called Big Pit, not the depth but the size of the uh, the workings to get them up and down. So there you go. So we're just gonna follow this up a little bit around and you just might, get, might make out the cut, which is, uh, well, I think it's a tram road going along and we're heading off over there.